into the most complicated, perhaps, part with a zillion things going on as bridges have. Got a submarine there having some work done, looks like. Great bridge. Lock. Coolest thing about it is the total drop is about one foot, the guy said. <laughs> like, what does this kid do for a living? This is just slow as sin here. This goddamn bridge doesn't open only in a half hour, so it won't be open yet for 20 minutes. And one after that, same deal. Got to time these things, but since I stopped and bought some food, I didn't time it right. Kind of the regular intercoastal, I guess. This is a coin check. We got easy docking and no charge. I believe this is the first in our coastal mall mark, all right? going to get out on the, uh, the coast there. So we got all around uh, Hatteras. Nice long stretch in North Carolina here by an army base for us. This is a bit of steak going on here. So now i got to wait for this guy to open this damn bridge. So meanwhile, let's check the steak. Wow, this is not good and this will help kill. That's a lot of life. So that's a possible to take a picture of everything. Going the fastest uh, sustained speed so far. we got to make that bridge or it'll kill one hour. Well, we're looking good. We're right down here. We're on a mile marker, less than a half a mile away. That, that is the dividing line between North and South Carolina. Of boating, you don't know what you're aiming for, you never know. So we have been waiting, killing one hour, and trying to time this bridge because it only opens on the, on the hour. And Terry says this little bridge here that's got these big long lines behind it is pulling the bridge open. <laughs> Pam said that, okay. I think it's fishing myself.
summer here. Here's what I call a sand trail. Not too fast now, Carrie. He's got that bridge open for you. You're doing fine. Not too fast or he'll bitch. Word free has led us to a free docks over here for boaters, a floating dock right on a mall. Delightful free dock. We just sit on a beautiful shopping center, an outlet mall, terrific, every kind of store, bar, even a house of the blues. This is a great free stop with a free floating dock uh, in North Myrtle Beach. Boy, what you got to do to get help these days? Look at this. What service? <laughs> Myrtle Beach area is really a lot, really dissolved. There's some kind of a, a gondola that goes up and across the waterway here. A little extra incentive to stay the hell away from the walls there, right there. This on a day, unlike any other day, this nation has seen. The nation itself, we should emphasize, is in a lockdown mode. All airports in the United States have been closed. The tugboat that looks like he brings his lighthouse right with him. What are you doing, Carrie May? Huh? Give that girl one glass of wine. She's all over the intercoastal. Somehow this uh, Hilton Head Resort, <clears throat> RV Resort on Hilton Head Island, doesn't quite seem to be my mental picture of uh, what uh, Hilton Head is, is all about, you know. Windy, be fun getting out of here. So we're coming into, uh, what is it, Gecko Harbor or something? It's raining, it's uh, foggy, there's a boat out there coming towards us. And we're on the uh, autopilot. Uh, Jekyll Island. There's a giant concrete floating down. This is the day the Gabrielle hurricane is hitting the Florida coast down there and heading up this way. Jekyll Island, Georgia. Pretty good balance, buddy. Here I am. I'm stranded up on a sandbar here in this ship. If you're trying to help me, you may throw me a line. So here I am with the hurricane approaching. Royally grounded. I mean, royally grounded. So I guess the moral of the story is, they have these things called tides. Seven or eight feet up. Why not? When the tide is going down, you better not be stuck a little bit. This is going to be really stuck. Plus the hurricane's coming. A few hours later and the tide is yeah, beginning Man, to ebb up to get here. some water back. <laughs> the birds have lost their island. Boat U.S. has arrived and we got a line successfully to the front. We're waiting now for that tide to come up some more. We're back under our power long before actually high tide. Fernandina Beach. I'm the taking a boat I mean, the, the, well, I think the wind has quit. It's the coolest one I've ever seen. That tide's coming in. So I'm riding out the hurricane tonight.
We brought a big ass shrimp boat in here, and it's parked right next to the dock where I am uh, at uh, Amelia Island. I'm inside this harbor, and it's supposed to hit her around 2 a.m. <clears throat> the day after the storm. It was a really, really rough night. I got very little sleep as we bounced around off the dock here, but. Uh, The research vehicle was popped up, but day after the hurricane. The motor on the dinghy is set because at the Doro Beach, which is a really cool little place, I got on one of the mooring uh, mooring things that they have here at six bucks a night. So I'm going to moor up and head over to the restaurant. So uh, anchored down here at Doro Beach. you're heading into Florida when you go under I-95. Counting down to the first lock at uh, 1 o'clock. Got green from the <clears throat> lock and we're going to head in. Okay, we're in the lock. 
he threw us, he threw lines down. Bumpers are holding us off. Carrie's got everything under control. And you just hold on to that line for dear life, that's all. <laughs> then they open the front and let the water in. So the guy cut the grass up there, right? Yeah, but he's not there now for me to yell at. Just by coincidence. He just left. <laughs> he yeah. just left. Water's still a foot or two. Lower, but uh, but doing it this way, they save all the underground plumbing that they have to do. So it's pretty simple. It works. What the hell? Coming on the second lock. So of all things, get to the uh, Mayaka clock or whatever, and uh, it's, it's open. The gates on both sides are open. Apparently the level of the lake is the same as the uh, canal. Where's your camera? I'm laying on the ledge there. Laying on which ledge? One of the front there on the side. All right, relax that rope some more. Let let the back come in. Uh -huh. I want to get in pictures, right? Yeah. Not even sure where the hell this dock was. Don't know if it was a free dock or what, but. Stayed here uh, last night. Another day, another lock. The fourth of uh, five locks across Florida. Fuel up here, and it says, "Beware of the gator." Somebody's got a spot here. Last line. Hey, Carrie May. How you doing? You got this down pretty good, don't you? You don't know how you love me. And the last block is history. Carrie, how do you know when you reach the other side of uh, Florida? 75. I 75, right? I 75. I-75, never looked so good. 
we just went under I-75 and now we're on the west coast of Florida. Fort Myers coming into view as I'm on here with no sign. Thank you. 